Welcome back, everyone, to the Bourbon Judge. Uh, first and foremost, uh, happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, everyone. Uh, here visited by a special guest, uh, <laughs> my cousin Anita, who's been out, I think, was this your second or third? Uh, this is my third episode. Oh, oh wow. Yes, third. yes, yes. I feel so privileged. I know, I know. <laughs> so thank you and welcome back. I really appreciate having you back. So today we're going to go ahead and kind of change up a little bit. We normally just review one bourbon. Uh -huh. We did two before. I think we did the 1792s. Um, but this time we're going to actually do a battle of the 10-year bourbons. Mm -hmm. So we're going to review Rebel Yell. A 10-year single barrel bourbon versus, not the same family, completely different dis uh, distribution or different uh, company. There you go. Calumet Farms, which is also a 10-year bourbon as well. So we're going to kind of change up a little bit, right, and kind of see which one do we uh, prefer. Do the, uh, does the profile different? Is it similar? Is one sweeter versus the other? Maybe one's a little bit more bold. Mm -hmm. um, but let's kind of cover off on some uh, why I pour these some uh some similarities and some differences so this one price wise i think i bought this one for about 65 dollars wow. the rebel nice. yell right 65 dollars not super hard to find mm -hmm. you know pretty uh simple to find and the proof on this one is let me just double check i think it's 100 but let's just make sure it is so this one is 100 proof all right all right and then go ahead and pour this uh calumet farms Calumet Farms is a little bit more expensive. I found this for about seventy-five, almost eighty dollars. Right. I, I was looking online yeah. at that, and that's the price point that I yeah. saw for that one. So a little bit more expensive. Um, also, you know, pretty d easy to find. You may have to make a couple trips to a couple different liquor stores, but you know, pretty easy to find as a whole. And this one is ninety-two proof. Okay, so ninety-two. All right. So which one should we start with? Uh, let's do Rebel Yell. All right. So we have the. Nice, beautiful glasses in the front here. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see what the nose smells like here. Mmm. Yummy. Mm hmm So not, not so much on the caramel side. Mm -hmm. I don't get a lot of fruit either. It's not mm -hmm. very... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Some spice. I get some oak yeah. from the barrels. A little spice, little oak. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and uh, yeah. try it. Might as well, right? Hmm. Okay. This one has. It's that oaky, but almost like a cinnamon kind of a. I definitely honey, feel the spice. Right? Spicy, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely spicy. Mm -hmm. So it's a boulder. I mean, it's only 100 proof, right? So it's just kind of like middle of the road for a bourbon. Right, yeah. All right, so a little bit of spice. Let me get a little bit more of this. Yeah. Mm. And I feel, I feel just a bit of a bite. Okay, yeah, um, I would agree. For me, and we've talked about this before, mm. for my palate, I generally mm. like something that doesn't have so much of a, a kick mm -hmm. um but still good so good not bad yeah. but definitely and even now as i'm speaking mm -hmm. feel more of that you spice do. you feel right? it going like down it's, like it's it reminds you that it's there it's, 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 it's yeah. letting you know it's it's yeah yelling at you yes <laughs> i'm still around right exactly. literally exactly. it is it's, it's, it's yeah. bold in flavor which i like mm -hmm. that right this is uh really good though okay all right well, let's go ahead and maybe and cleanse our palate with a little bit of H2O. Yes. Right? There we go. Mm. All right. All right. Well, we are ready now for the Calumet mm -hmm. Farms. Okay. Both of these, by the way, are both Kentucky-based bourbons, right? Mm -hmm. Let me give a little bit of history. So, Rebel Yell, they make, uh, this is actually comes from the uh, the Luxro family, Luxro wow. Distillery. So, okay. Luxro, some of their sister companies are ones like Ezra Brooks. Uh, David Nicholson, okay. and uh, everyone loves the Blood Oak, the beautiful uh, wooden box, right? Oh, uh, okay. number one, two, three, and so forth, right? Yeah. So that's the Rebel Yell family, and they make a couple of different types themselves. Okay. Calumet Farms, very much a family-based bourbon company. Mm -hmm. um, they have three different bourbons. They make a 10, a 12, and then a small batch as well. Gotcha. So almost living on a smaller scale, um, but also both, you know, good quality. So right. let's dive into this, uh, this Calumet Farms. All right, let's see the nose here. Mm. Mm. It's 
smells uh, sweet, right? A little honey. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely more on the sweeter side. Oh yeah. Which I will never object to. Mm. Okay, might as well go ahead and try it. Yeah. Oh, very smooth. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. smooth. <laughs> now, and there's a difference, right? You got 100 mm -hmm. proof to 92, so. Right, right. You know, obviously, so you awful little bit difference. Like factor yeah. that in, right? Yeah. Um, but not the spice. Not uh, the spice. Not the spice. Mm -hmm. Very sweet in the smell. Mm. Smell the, the caramel honey. Mm-hmm. And I am getting a little bit more kick, um, a little bit more as it marinates, but that first sip mm -hmm. was very mild. Very mild, mm -hmm. very smooth. This is a mm -hmm. very smooth, it doesn't kick you as much as the mm -hmm. Rebel Yell. Mm -hmm. It's more of a just kind of a chill. Yeah, burger, this, right? this is tough. Yeah. yeah. It's a tough one. Huh. Well, for me, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to leave a glass uh, okay. with a little bit of bourbon in it. Mm. All right. Definitely on the sweeter side. Yeah, sweeter, mm -hmm. smoother. Mm -hmm. um, the caramel, a little bit of the honey. Mm -hmm. mm, wow, the smell is wonderful, though. Mm. I always love smelling a glass when it's empty in it. <laughs> and the rest of it, you know, yeah. that, it just kind of sits in there, right? Absolutely. All right, folks. Well, we're going to go ahead and give you a judgment. So okay. before we do that, okay. to be fair, we are both going to write down our okay. answers. We're going to see whether or not we have a unanimous decision or a split decision. Right. Is that fair? That's fair. All right. All right. Write down my answers here. All right. Well, Cousin Anita, you are the guest. So, and as they always say, ladies first. My mother taught me well. What is your decision on this one? And I think if your viewers know me from past uh, episodes of The Bourbon Judge, you probably know which direction I'm going to go in, and that would be the Calumet. Oh, yeah. Calumet Farms. Yeah. Okay. And why Calumet? Out of, out of uh, I just felt like, again, the initial um, taste, smooth, okay. um, the sweeter mm -hmm. notes there, sure. um, and again... It could be the proof. Okay. Um, but just as a general rule, uh, this is more my speed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and ring in the judgment uh -huh. so it all comes at the same time. And I'll show you what I wrote down. Uh -huh. The judgment is in. We have a split decision. <laughs> I wrote down Rebel Yell. <laughs> so for me, as you probably know from previous different uh, reviews, uh, I like I prefer more of a bold bourbon. Uh -huh. Don't get me wrong. I think yeah. the Calumet is very nice, yeah. very sweet, very yeah. smooth. Yeah. Maybe like on a cool summer day uh -huh. as it is today, uh -huh. I would go with Calumet. But as a whole, I love the boldness uh -huh. of the Rebel Yell. And I love the that spice, spice even. Okay, That's, so I love that okay. spice. I okay. like the way it kind of kicks you a little bit. It reminds you like uh -huh. I'm a bourbon. I'm here to stay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking it. I'm sipping on it because it's just yeah. something that's just I want to just resonate good as it goes down. Right. You know, remind me of what I'm drinking. I love that bold character and I love okay. that spice. So for me, while I like them both, uh -huh. I'm gonna go with Rebel Yell. So it depends on your palate, folks. I uh -huh. guess is what they say. You know, yeah. if you like a little bit more sweet, uh -huh. maybe uh -huh. we will go with Calumet. And if uh -huh. not. To go with Re Rebel Yell. Mm -hmm. Any closing notes, Cousin Anita? Well, you know, at the end of the day, it's always a good day when you're drinking bourbon. <laughs> so Indeed. as my cousin said, they are both uh, great selections. Um, so fun times, as always. Absolutely. Being a guest on the Bourbon Judge. So, yeah, looking forward to sampling a little bit more once we wrap this episode up. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, folks, we'll take care. Thanks again for watching the video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.